Yeah, positive reaction to that mail speech uh, by President Xi here at the White House in how Donald Trump likes to communicate in a tweet. Let me read it for you. Very thankful for President Xi of China's kind words on tariffs and automobile barriers. Also, his enlightenment on intellectual property and technology transfers. We will make great progress together. Um, and also, uh, from Sarah Sanders, just behind me here, uh, addressing reporters' questions, uh, saying this, uh, an encouraging step in the right direction, but also said, uh, she said, we want to see more than just words. It's worth stressing, of course, for those of us that, that cover Chinese policy, that uh, President Xi's remarks, of course, were a reiteration of long-standing policy, not a reaction to Trump demands, but they were timely nonetheless. I was at an investment forum uh, a bit earlier today with uh, uh, U.S. investors in China and, uh, and monitoring Chinese investments here in the U.S., uh, and people did welcome the speech. I thought the speech was a very welcoming one. It was one which, you know, he's giving to over a thousand foreigners who are in, who are in Boao, and it was one which is saying, you know, Gaiga Kai Fang, reform and opening is going to continue. We're going to push ahead with opening in the financial services area, and that, of course, is positively received by those in attendance and those who read about it in the United States, especially where I come from, which is Wall Street. Even though the rhetorical environment is getting better with kinder words than we've seen before, coming out of the White House. Trade frictions remain. We still have the U.S. and China have already imposed nearly $3 billion worth of tariffs when it comes to steel and aluminum and the retaliation for that. We've had the U.S. publish a list of $50 billion worth of Chinese goods that it wants to tariff at 25 percent. The Chinese respond. We have to watch this space to see if this can lead to a deal. On the home front, Donald Trump's uh, problems continue legally. His personal attorney Michael Cohen's office's home and other premises were raided by the FBI uh, in an investigation uh, that has been linked to uh, the Mueller investigation into collusion and his business practices. It may not be directly linked, uh, but they may have discovered uh, something potentially criminal which led to the raids. The president absolutely livid about this latest move. This witch hunt constantly going on for over 12 months now. And actually, much more than that, you could say it was right after I won the nomination it started. And it's a disgrace. It's frankly a real disgrace. It's a, an attack on our country in a true sense. It's an attack on what we all stand for. Speculation surrounding this White House that he may move to fire the special counsel or fire someone else or uh, try and uh, replace people at the Justice Department. He's been warned off against that, as that could lead to even more political trouble down the road. I'm not saying impeachment necessarily, but that's where it could head. Uh, so in this swirling environment, uh, especially uh, with the mulling of military response to the alleged Syria, Syria chemical attack as well, it's perhaps not surprising that the U.S. president has canceled his trip to Latin America and Peru and the summit of the Americas. Nathan King, CGTN at the White House.